came to clean up this city, didn't you? It'd be easier to burn it all to the ground. One parking ticket is all it takes to improve mindfulness. Murphy, this is Reed. Mayor Kuzak just stormed into my office. Apparently, his niece's car has been stolen. Find it. This goes to the top of your priority list. You can start by asking about it at some of the local garages. For the record, it's a blue SUX 6000 registered to Melissa Kuzak. Oh, who's there? Oh, it's only you. Hey, I might be a little late filing my tax return, but sending a one-man army seems like an overreaction. I am here to investigate the theft of a blue SUX 6000 that belongs to Melissa Kuzak. Fancy car and fancy name. But I hardly ever get the pleasure of dealing with either. Do you have any information about the whereabouts of this vehicle? To be honest, I did some work on one of those cars recently. But I can assure you that it was not the one you're looking for. Do I have your permission to search the shop? I know what the world's like, but can a man go about his business without being harassed all the damn time? Citizen, I would like to inform you that knowingly delaying an investigation is classified as a felony. Yada, yada, yada. I don't have all day to listen, nor do I understand this bureaucratic jargon. Would you like to call your lawyer and have him explain it to you? You know what? If you really think you'll find evidence of that SUX ever being here, then be my guest. See, I told you, you'll find Jack all, because there ain't nothing to be found. This place is legit. I need access to one of your lockers. I can't allow that. It's my worker's private possessions. You said your shop has nothing to hide. The locker you have in mind belongs to a boy named Scott. He works for me on and off. I have to admit, I had a tiny feeling he might have something to do with your case. I will open his locker for you, but I won't be held accountable for what's inside. That's his locker. Go on, have a look. And what do you reckon? Is he your man? For the time being. Where is the suspect? 
You see, he hasn't turned up for work for some time. This morning, when two thugs swang by looking for him, I knew he must be in trouble. I've overheard him many times talking about a place where he does car jobs on the side. Give me the precise location. I can't tell you exactly where it is. All I know is that it's one of the garages near the local storage compartments. Tell me why you think he is responsible. He's young, bright, and would like to rule the world. I get it. But nearly every month, he gets himself in trouble. It is not enough to make assumptions. I'm not a cop, but I've seen many things in my life. And where there's smoke, there's usually fire. That is all for now. Hey! Make sure no harm comes his way. He might have done some foolish things in the past, but he's a good kid, and he deserves another chance. A court of law will be the judge of that. Oh God, I messed up good. You must be Scott. What did you do with the blue SUX 6000 that you stole? Hey. Well, why would I have anything to do with that? I have found evidence in Ben's shop. You can't possibly help me. I don't want to cause any more trouble, especially for Ben. Our actions affect people around us. Do you mean Ben? Shit! Is he alright? Is Ben okay? Please tell me. I would never forgive myself if anything bad happened to him. During our conversation, my health monitor did not detect any trauma, as yet. Okay, okay. I admit, it was me who jacked the SUX, but he didn't leave me any choice. Who is he? I can't tell you. If he knew I gave him away, he'd take revenge on Ben. Oh God, it must be those thugs. We're dead. No one is going to save us. If they are criminals, then they are the ones who need saving. Anybody home? Where are you, Scotty? Oh, shit! It's the metal! Blast it! They didn't think that through. Maybe you can put an end to this after all. I am missing vital information in order to resolve this case. I'll tell you what you want. Just please, help me fix this screw-up. Where is the car now? Oh man, I'm sure it's still in their chop shop. It's a warehouse on the northeast side. The entrance is concealed, but I'm sure you'll find it. I'm no fighter, but if there is any other way, I would like to help. Maybe you need some more intel. Any criminal matters should be reported to the police. I know. I just thought I could figure this out by myself. Ben was right from the start. I shouldn't have gone down this road. Who did you mean by him? It's Rex, from the local gang. I only did petty jobs for him mostly, but this time he made me steal that car. He said he wanted the SUX 6000 we were repairing at Ben's. When I said it was too hot, he slashed me with his knife. That is all for now. 
Proceeding to the vehicle's estimated location. You are calling for backup, aren't you? Negative. Threat calculation minimal. Citizen, I am ordering you to discontinue this deliberate act of vandalism. S -s Screw you, man! So uh, what, what you gonna do? You you can't put me behind bars. I, I'm still a kid and only done it once. J just let me off with a warning, will ya? You are being fined one hundred dollars for the violation that you have committed. Are you crazy? I I don't work. How am I supposed to pay for this? Failing to pay may result in serious consequences for your guardians. That's an uncool move you pulled right here. I'll make sure everyone in the hood knows your score.
I can't believe you've actually done it! Do you think I could take that car back to the owner and say I'm sorry? Maybe she won't press charges. This car is now in police custody. Oh, please, I could really use a helping hand right now. Otherwise, I'm back in juvie. Proceeding to secure the perimeter. Keys are in the ignition. Thank you so much! I promise I won't mess this up! You piece of shit! Don't you cops ever get bored with harassing successful entrepreneurs? Hey! This shit is rigged! That's a serious accusation, kiddo. Someone might think I would allow such illegal activity in my high-class business. Which I do not. I get lost. You work for Soot. Tell me where to find him. You cops are giving me a stomach ulcer. Stop asking me about guys I don't know. Withholding information can lead to bigger trouble than a stomach ulcer. Look, I'm a busy man, so I'm going back to my office now. Why don't you join me there, and we'll talk. Oh, on second thought, you can't do that. Because you don't have a warrant, do you? What a douchebag. Come back with a warrant, cop. amazing colors and there's not one but two of you from now on I... your body readings suggest substance misuse oh man a real like tj laser you are so incredibly shiny i'm definitely getting more of this stuff who sold you drugs i really shouldn't say but you are my tv hero so all right uh all of the arcade staff will sell to you, as long as you got cash. Unfortunately, I'm broke, but I have a great idea. You, you could help me sneak into the basement to keep a huge stash of goodies down there. Drugs in the basement? I will take care of that. Would you really do that for me? Way to go, TJ! Is that the ocean? Open the door. I have the warrant. Oopsie. I think I dropped my key somewhere. You'd have to break down this hardened door if you want to get in. That will not be a problem. Surrender your weapons. No chance! Light him up!
Open the door, or you will regret it. Can't, can't a guy just sell drugs to kids without you harassing him every five minutes? Who, who am I hurting, huh? They all want it. Where do I find soot? Well, if that's the case, shut it, bozo! Unless you want to end up in the ghost house like that cop's informant! And don't you dare open that door, I'll shoot you! Have it your way. You need you to be taught some manners.
Are you the police informant? Do you know where I can find Soot? Uh, oh man, all great questions, but uh, could you untie me first? They really outdid themselves with these knots. Talk. Hey, I, I don't know how you usually operate, but that type of information don't come free. It is a privilege and a merit for civilians to assist the police in capturing wanted fugitives. Well said. Uh, what can I say? I'm a sucker when it comes to helping the cops. So, it seems that the new guy saw the punks attack on the TV station and decided to meet with Soot on their turf. The meeting is supposed to take place tonight during Soot's concert. Concert? I know. I'm not really a fan of his music myself, but that's not what those shows are really about. Why don't we, uh, get out of here, huh? Lewis, Soot is meeting the new guy tonight at the old slaughterhouse. Copy that. Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. By the way, I've got something for you, Murphy. They call me Pickles. Eh, and you guessed it. There's a funny story behind that name. This one time, I saw Torchhead stealing a delivery truck. I went after them, hoping that a VCR would fall off the back of the truck, you know? But it turned out to be groceries, so they left it. I made a pretty penny that day selling pickles. Still have a couple of jars laying around if you want. So you are an opportunist. Hey, I prefer street entrepreneurs. You know what they say, good business is where you find it. Ah, it's nice to be free again. Thanks, Tin Man. Hey, uh, did Briggs tip you off that I might be here? Officer Briggs? Yeah, he's my police go-to guy. Officer Briggs is missing. Missing? Shit. May our city have mercy on him. How do you know Officer Briggs? Ah, uh, we go back a long way. He gave me a helping hand when I hit rock bottom. And I've been in his debt ever since. He even introduced me to his family. Great kid and wife, though. His missus don't seem very fond of me. You seem proficient in undertaking police tasks. Ever thought of making a living out of it? <laughs> oh, no. One thing you should know about me. I love cops. You know, law enforcement, laws, all of that. I think those are great ideas. But so is Nuke. And when I need it, I tend to forget about the other stuff. So, you know what they say. You can only serve one master. Need to go. Duty awaits. Uh, uh about that. I've got a favor to ask. I know that Briggs is missing, but I've got something that belongs to him. He must have misplaced it the last time he visited my crib, and it's kind of weighing me down. What is it? It's his wristwatch. Now, I feel bad holding on to it. Could you please give it back to his family? This is stolen property, and you expect me to return it? Gee, that sounds bad when you say it like that, but still, you shouldn't let me hold on to expensive things. That's how I ended up in this situation in the first place. I will make sure they receive it from the repentant thief. Oh boy, you're a tough negotiator. But surely you don't mean now. I gotta chillax after all this. I have more urgent matters on hand. Meet me later at Briggs Place. Yeah, you gotta save the city. That's fine by me. I'll see you later. It's 
stop shaking in your boots. Look, Robocop is here. We're safe. Hey, Tin Man. Over here. This is where Briggs lives. Let's get this over with. His watch is burning a hole in my pocket. Apartment 21. Oh man, my hands are sweaty. Are you going into a drug-related withdrawal? Do you require medical assistance? I'm just nervous. Me and Gail have a complicated relationship. She's good at reading people, and I'm the type of person that doesn't like to be read. I know that inevitably I'll do something she doesn't approve of. Like steal a watch? Like steal a watch. This is it. Deep breath. Let's do this. You first. Uh -huh. Robocop. Are you here about Mike? Yes, I am sorry to hear about your husband. Oh, Gail. no, 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 no. This junkie is not coming inside. What else are you gonna steal? Huh. Funny you should say that. I can't stand him. I'm sure he has something to do with Mike being missing. Are you any closer to finding my husband? We are still looking. Is there anything more that you can tell me about his disappearance? I've already reported what I know, but if you have any more questions, shoot. Why do you think that Pickles is involved in your husband's disappearance? My husband's a good man. Sometimes too good for his own sake. He believes in second chances, even if someone doesn't deserve them. Like Pickles. That unappreciative asshole constantly gets himself into trouble. I mean, who's always there to get him out? You guessed it. Salt of the Earth Mike. Pickles has a bad influence on my husband. I heard that he was looking into reports of bodies going missing. An old lady approached him at the precinct and told him a sob story about how she couldn't afford to bury her husband. Can you believe that? Anyway, when she finally collected enough money and went back to the morgue, only to find that they had lost her husband's body, Mike went to check it out and never came back. I think I have everything I need for now. Knowing you're on the case makes me a little less anxious, Robocop. Now I just need to break it down for our son. He does not know? <laughs> I didn't know how to tell him. He's a smart kid, and I think he suspects something. Could you maybe tell him to come home? It's getting late, and the streets aren't safe these days. He normally dawdles, but having you tell him should <laughs> light a fire in his britches. I will make sure that he returns home, madam. Thank you. He's playing on the basketball court nearby with his friends. That went pretty much as expected. We are not done. We're not? You still have that watch, do you not? There is someone who needs to learn what time it is. We must get to the basketball court. That's just around the corner. Um, are we playing? What's that got to do with time? Is it like time to kick my ass? We are going to remind Gail's son that it is past curfew. Good evening, citizens. I need... Need what? Some spare parts? Hey, there's a mechanic up the road. 
You are not the only ankle breaker on this basketball court. And that's letting you off easy. I've seen him do way worse for less. Shit, I, I, I was just messing with you. What do you need? We're looking for a kid. His name's Daniel. He was playing here earlier. Why? Is it past his bedtime? It is. Yeah, I saw a couple of kids drawing with chalk they found lying around that crime scene over there. Thank you for the information. Congrats, guys. You just became police informants. It has its perks. You'll love it. I see a couple of drawings over there. This was drawn not long ago. Ah, there's more over there. Shoe print, size 7. That's gotta be his. They threw out the chalk here. Must have found something more interesting. What the fuck? That was close. We'd better hurry. Do it! Come on! And him! What are you waiting for? Fuck him up! He's laughing at you! Hey, what the hell's going on over there? Yo! Daniel! Oh no. It's the cops! I don't want to go to jail for this shit! Is that a gun? Oh. You're in so much trouble, kid. No, it's not. Whoa! What the hell? You're lucky that Tin Man here doesn't have a real heart. He'd have a hole in it right about now. Sorry, sir. You will be once your dad hears about this. My dad's missing, so he can't tell me nothing. My mom said that he's out on an assignment, but I know the truth. He's not coming back. Why'd you say that? He's always been a stickler for following the rules. I guess that's why he's missing. Cops can't shoot without giving a warning, and someone got the drop on him. But that's not gonna happen to me. I'm going to be the one that shoots first. That's why my friends say... Your friends are knuckleheads. If you listen to them, you're a knucklehead too. Come on. Sit down. We need to talk. Those friends of yours, they take the easy way out. You don't want to go down that road. It leads to a dark, lonely place. Do you know... Why your dad is such a stickler for the rules? Cause he's a chump. Because it's the right thing to do. It's not always easy to do the right thing. It takes... strength. And you think my dad has that kind of strength? Are you kidding me? Your father has enough strength for the both of us. He even helped an ungrateful addict that he found in one of these buildings that smelled of rotting garbage, half dead, and covered in vomit. And instead of writing him off, your father opened his home to him because that's the right thing to do. That's strength. Don't you think there's someone else who could use that kind of support now? Mom, 
See, you already know what to do. You can start by giving her this. She's looking for it. Is he going to arrest me? No, it's your first offense. So he'll let you off with a warning. Right? Right. It's late. Let's get you home. Will you tell my mom about the gun? No. She doesn't like me already. Thanks for the help, Tin Man. I'll talk to you later. Hey, partner. What's the status on the old slaughterhouse? I had to take care of something. We can go there soon. Sure thing. Pick me up at the station when you're done.